way. Please tell me your divorce is final. <laughs> Please tell I Kenya. wish I could say yeah. that. No. I wish I could say that. He recently filed contempt charges against me. What's uh, the allegation? You know, he was trying to say I was preventing him from seeing his child. There was another issue that he cited where Marlo was kicking at the door. Oh, shit. Friend. And he used that against me as well, saying that I put Brooklyn in an unsafe um, situation. Wow. Yeah. What was your and reaction I, when you no, saw that? I felt awful. I apologize for Brooklyn being in our bullshit. Like, I'm sorry, I you did what? I apologize for Brooklyn being in between our bullshit. I hate that she was even there who, to witness who, that. Who, I, don't, I don't even understand what you're saying. Okay, well, you don't have to understand. Yeah, it. Look it up. I don't you know, even know I think she's trying to you apologize. Know mumble. The apology did should you have come the, did you know by Brooklyn way was of a phone not. call. Not Everybody at all. We didn't read know those all. blogs, right? Now that it's a court issue, you will have to appear in court, and here is your subpoena, because you have to... Ooh. Can you hand that to her? This now, because cool. it has been named in those contempt charges... Yeah, that was I don't want to go to jail. I know. So you can come and speak your piece, no, okay. and while wow. you're this at is it... A, this is a, This is kind of... This is... It's a subpoena. Well, I mean, it's blank. Oh, no, no. <laughs> like, it's not filled it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then they yeah. printed the wrong one. Okay. I'll get enough. You oh, will be so We need to fill out her name. <laughs> I'm not accepting oh, this. I'm not accepting this as evidence. Jesus. She is named in, oh, in the... In the okay. well, don't say she has I'm, to appear in court but because you're doing he it named... But the courts are doing it? No. She's going to be a witness okay. for me. It's for me. You can, you you can be held in contempt. If you get well, subpoenaed, contempt. you can... You know well, you'll go back to, to jail. jail. You can exactly. be put back in Are you going to see right. me can't so, while you're there, you can talk about why you were okay. texting and calling Mark two years ago. OK, and now you're You lying. can talk about that. And now During discovery lying. of my All divorce right. case, I was able oh, to subpoena his about phone about records. About no, and two years ago, her phone number appears in Mark's phone records. Saying? Saying it... We can't see what the text says. Make I can only see the Excuse phone me. number, and that you is texting? your phone number. Why were you texting? I don't ever remember texting you Mark. You didn't talk to Mark and ask him about dirt on me? You did. Dirt? Girl, you you called lying. Mark two years ago asking moment, for dirt baby. on me. Oh, I did. You okay. did. I know. You did. How do you know it was dirt if you only saw the phone record? He told me. Oh. We'll and I asked, I'm going to said, court now. I want to see this discovery. Why are you talking to these people? I'm going to court now. Marlo, are you in touch with Mark? Absolutely not. Another ex-housewife was talking about her being in his restaurant. No, I didn't been in that man's restaurant years ago. And also, do you remember when we were at um, Mark's event? She walked up to Mark and was so comfortable. I'm standing right there. How are you? I'm great. Nice yeah. to meet you. How you doing, brother? Michael, Michael, nice to meet you, man. And I'm like, why does she feel so comfortable where she can walk up to my husband? And ask him a question about the event that's going on. Oh, the way she so walked So this is this is one husband. of the reasons why there is a roadblock there because I keep discovering all the dirty and nasty and crazy things that this girl sets out to do. I know. You can prove it in court. April from Florida said, Kenya, why was it a big deal when Sheree's boyfriend slid in your DMs? But it's not a problem when the man you're dating slides into Marlowe's. He didn't slide into a DM. He was commenting on a live in those go to your DMs. Wait! As the resident social media guru, Please. comments on live do not go to your DMs. No, they don't. <laughs> they, they, go, they stay on the live. She's talking about the mentions. Kenya, what has Roy told you about his date with Marlo? He said it wasn't a date. He said they took a lunch. He said, I don't remember that, but I believe I took a lunch. <laughs> I mean, it was a date. I mean, if, it was, if you we drive talk, met your own Rica, car to the Taco Mario. Bell... Did you go to Taco Bell? <laughs> Superica. Superica. We know that Marlo knows that was not a date because her dates end with money being left on a dresser, okay? Ooh. So that was not a date. No. Excuse That's me. what you call it a date. It had to annoy you that he it went so out with ago. Marlo. And it's like he never spoke to her after. So what? <laughs> Lorena from Sunnyvale, California said, Kenya, where is Roy? We've seen more of his restaurant than we've seen of him this year. Did he not want to be on the show? Well, I think after he heard that someone, Marlo, um, said that I'm a they went we out on a date and then saying that he popped her cherry, it was a really big yeah. turnoff for him in the commercial. So oh, everyone was calling him, like, well, you dated Marlo? Ugh. Well, if it was in a commercial, then the show had already wrapped. It was in the super tease. But, but when the super tease comes out, we're, we're already wrapped. 
We was he rep. had heard about what we talked about too. And then when the super tease came out, it was a really big turnout because it's like, you're a businessman. And to sit there and have someone kind of make fun of that no, and I make understand. the I'm situation just saying a joke, he never it was a big turn. During the season. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, he was around, but she was not around. She was doing end. her commercial for him for his business. <laughs> Can y'all love the boobs? I just feel the feathers are a little too much. She looks too peacockish. But I love the boobs. She looks amazing. I don't like the hair on her, though, at all. She's mm -hmm. over there looking like Mrs. Roper from Three's Company. Has the nerve to talk about how okay. we look. Are you like a bootleg? <laughs> really? Wanna be Marlon Monroe? Really?